possibly one of the clearest signs of the danger facing the United States is the fact that the US has gone from being the world's largest creditor nation to the world's largest debtor nation. The US has such enormous deficits that we can only be kept afloat if other countries, in effect, lend us the money to continue by purchasing US Treasury bonds. Bonds whose yield is paid by US dollars created on a printing press. Therefore, we are indeed dependent upon the kindness of strangers. At a time in history when conflicting monetary and political interests, even terrorism, are telling us it's not wise to rely on this economic lifeboat much longer. The US uh, essentially is dependent on uh, foreign savers uh, to, or has been, to maintain a standard of living which um, it wasn't producing for itself. Uh, and the difference was funded by foreigners accepting American IOUs. And I, I think that whole, if you like, system is, is, is coming coming to a close now. It's the recirculation of uh, this money which, which has enabled the US to essentially um, consume beyond its means uh, and for that to be financed by those with massive trade surpluses with the United States is uh, a system that, that's had its day. The United States really is not producing that much. All they're doing is they're producing debt and they're sending it over in exchange for these products. So now it would be equivalent to you, Walter, having a tree in your backyard and taking money off of that tree and giving it to me, and I am manufacturing shoes, for example. So every time you want to get, you're in the shoe business, so all you do is you just go in the back, pick up all the paper you want, and you have this beautiful business going. It costs you nothing to go take that money off the tree, so to speak, except maybe a few minutes. You give it to me, I accept that, and I give you all these shoes, and you've got a booming shoe business. How long can that go on? It's basically unsustainable. I mean, it's, it's, it's doubled and tripled over the last 10 years, and it's unsustainable. More importantly, however, is the amount, because we're running these huge deficits, is the amount of money the foreigners have to continue to put into the U.S. dollar, into the U.S. economy, and into U.S. financial assets, just to keep the US dollar where it is. Basically, we're talking about 80% of the world export uh, flow of, of portfolio money. 80% of that, four-fifths of that, have to flow into the United States simply to keep the United States dollar at the same level where it is. That is absolutely unsustainable. It, it cannot continue. In very recent years, more and more countries, and we're talking countries like China, who's our, one of our biggest lenders, Japan, who is our biggest lender, uh, India, South Korea, a number of countries have just said, Russia was another one that just said, no, I don't, we really clearly do not want more dollars. We're going to be getting rid of some of the dollars we have. So this is a sign that if this trend continues and it's already in motion, it's going to be negative for the dollar because as these countries get rid of their dollars, they're selling them, converting them into other currencies like the euro. They might move some gold into their reserves. And so this is something that uh, is a cause for concern and it will affect gold in the sense that as the dollar falls and especially if that fall begins to intensify, then gold is going to rise sharply. And people say that uh, one day foreigners are going to start selling the dollar. Maybe they will. But the simple truth is foreigners don't have to sell a single dollar for the dollar to go down. They simply have to stop putting four out of every five export dollars into the U.S. and then the dollar goes down. So I don't, I don't think it's at all um, out of a question to look at a dollar falling another 50, 60 percent against um, a, a trade-weighted balance, you know, against currencies with which the U.S. trades over the next three, four, five years. Once these economies become independent of the United States, we could see a currency crisis of monumental proportion. And what would happen at that point is we would see the dollar collapse and could potentially see gold explode. The fact that the U.S. Uh, at, at the present moment is running a $600 billion per year trade deficit, the fact that there are roughly two trillion, best guess, uh, U.S. dollars that are held outside of the U.S. by foreign citizens. So at some point, my guess is there's going to be a rush towards the exits. 
everybody's going to say, you know, all these other people have trillions of these dollars. They're not backed by anything. The government, the uh, U.S. government is creating them by the bushel basketful. And there's going to be a rush where they all try to sell and be first out the door.